Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GAA. Today, myself, Seamus Brady, I'm going to be doing a roundup of the Allianz Football League action from Division 3. There are only two games on last weekend due to the terrible conditions. So Fermanagh versus Leash and Westmead versus Longford were two games in Division 3 that were postponed. First game that was played was played in UL, Limerick against Loud. And this was a game that I thought Limerick were going to win. Absolutely, I had no doubts Limerick were going to win this game. And they didn't. Loud were absolutely fantastic. Two minutes in, they made a brilliant start. Liam Jackson scored a goal after brilliant interplay. Sam O'Roy tagged on another point. He was excellent for Loud again, as you fully expected he would be. But Limerick came back into the game. Ian Corbett and Hugh Burke were really good for them, pointing well. And Limerick go in at halftime, eight points to one four ahead. Um, Hugh Burke hit a soft goal really then for Limerick on the restart in the third quarter. Loud would be disappointed that that goal went in. It was really kind of mediocre defending and Hugh Burke sticks the ball into the back end there. And Limerick kind of dominated the third quarter, which, leaved, which left them sorry, going in to the last quarter, five points in front in the, going into the last 15 minutes. But seven unanswered points from Loud get them a well-deserved victory, especially when you put seven points in a row against a good, well-drilled outfit like Billy Lee's Limerick. I mean, first of all, Sam Roy hit four frees. And then from play, Kieran Byrne, the substitute, he leveled the game. Kieran Downey gave Loud the lead. And then a point from Sam Mulroy from play sealed it. A huge win for Mickey Hart. I mean, one that really jumps off the sheet at you. I mean, to go away to UL and beat Limerick, fantastic result for Loud and much needed in terms of their survival in Division 3. In the other game, in Division 3, Antrim bounced back after being beaten by Leash and they beat Wicklow by 210 to 17 in Belfast. The goals coming from Mark Jordan and Connor Murray. Both goals were absolutely crucial. Antrim dominated the first quarter and looked like they'd absolutely bounce back. Then on Darcy set Kevin Quinn for a brilliant goal and Mark Kenny equalised straight after. And just like that, the whole game, the whole complexion of the game kind of changes. It was seven points to one four at half time. Noticeably for Wicklow, Nicky Devereaux, of course, who used to play centre-half back for Dublin around 2014. He played cornerback for Wicklow, of course, joining his brother David on the Wicklow panel last year but noticeably playing this game. And he played pretty well up until he was taken off. Then right towards the end of the game, after Antrim built up a bit of a comfortable lead because Mark Jordan's goal in 40, on the 40th minute really helped them kick on and kind of leave Wicklow behind. Then in stoppage time, Connor Murray's goal sealed it for Antrim and they win the game by six points. Good victory for Antrim to bounce back and beat a good determined Wicklow team. I mean, obviously, now it'll be interesting to see how the Fermanagh, Leash and Westmead Longford games go because now Antrim are joined up at the top of the table. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the league campaign goes. For Limerick, it's definitely a setback. I mean, they wouldn't have expected to lose that game, especially after beating Antrim. So it'll be fascinating to see how it all goes from here. Um, I can't really take too much from these games. Louth looked pretty good, but I mean... I still think Limerick are a better side than them. I just think Limerick had a bit of an off day. The seven points in a row at the end is absolutely farcical, though, by Limerick and Billy Lee will not be happy with that at all. Um, Antrim, on the other hand, they did what they're expected to do. They beat Wicklow at home. For Wicklow, it's looking dangerous. They're going to start to need picking, they're going to need to start picking up some points. I know they got the draw against Romana, but a win is needed and needed quickly. Um, so, yeah, guys, that is the Play on GA roundup of the football action from Division 3. Keep an eye out for all the other content over the weekend, including roundups of Division 4, Division 2, and all the matches in Division 1. Thanks, guys, for watching. Keep an eye out for all the content. And until the next one, take care.